Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another episode of Super Retro Geek. And today, um, I got something really special. Um, Google and Google I.O. Google I.O. I o., they went through a number of, number of things that they were going to release. And one of the biggest things that I thought, to me personally, should have got more attention was uh, the Chromecast screen mirroring. And that's something that everybody's wanted since the beginning and you know Apple has their AirPlay but it only works on uh, Apple devices and so just here recently they've just released the beta and um, I'm gonna show you how it works or the beta one works on the HTC One now right now the Google Play Store the new version is not out yet um, but I downloaded it uh, from a, a website the Android Police website I'm gonna go ahead and put the link below the video but let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing you do is, um, this is a HTC, it's only available on certain devices, uh, like the Nexus devices, and I think like the Nexus 7, and um, the HTC One M7, the original, which is what I have. And so, um, once you get the new version of Chromecast, I don't know if you can see it right here. So, let's go ahead and bring up Chromecast. And uh, it'll look for your device and it'll find your device so what you need to do is here on device there'll be a new option it's called uh, cast screen so I'm gonna go ahead and cast the screen right now and so it's gonna ask you what device you want to connect to so in this case is this device right here and voila there is your device and let me see let me press home real quick and as you can see it's pretty fast it's um, almost I wouldn't say instantaneous but it's pretty damn close and the thing is depending on your internet connection it might be internet connection it might be faster my internet's really really bad so I'm really surprised that um, it, it even goes this fast now as you can tell it's default on portrait mode um, so your phone's you know on portrait mode by default so you know it, it won't it won't turn the landscape un unless you had some option on your home screens in order to do that but when you open an app let's let's go ahead and open an app right now let's open something like um let's open a post since i reviewed that on the last video so here's post and then when you turn it over bam you got yourself you know a landscape mode and like I said it, it's really really good I, I can't believe that it's it's almost I would say there's lag about a, a second as you can see um, which is still pretty amazing I'm not sure what technologies they're using but it's you know it's being filtered through the Chromecast through the internet through your Wi-Fi so it's pretty amazing and as you can see it, it's almost it's almost like I said it's almost instantaneous and just remember this is actually a beta version so it's actually not complete yet so let's go to another app so um, let's go to something more intensive like YouTube now here's something I noticed I, I, I think this is due to the fact that it's a beta version but if you're watching something with audio the audio actually uh, it won't come out so let's let's just try this one real quick and there's the video but there's no audio so um, I haven't I played around in the settings I didn't see anything for sound so right now I'm assuming this is because it's a beta issue um, but the the quality of the actual video looks really good on the TV so whatever you had on your TV I mean on your device like I think this defaults to 720p for this particular video it'll default to looks like 720p on your TV as well uh, which is pretty awesome and see my internet's not great so I'm, I'm still really amazed that it's able to look like this in terms of lag so let me go back out of here now I'll, one of the things that people are really wondering about is um, how is the quality when it comes to games well um, I don't think personally I don't think this is, this is something that you would actually want to 
use as your default for playing games. Uh, primarily because of the lag. You know, um, like I said, this is a beta version and it also depends on your internet and also your device. The HTC One M7 is still a pretty powerful device. So uh, let's go ahead and let me show you the. And you notice there's some lag right there in the TV. So, and the resolutions actually on the game it's not that 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 great. You know, because it's processing it through the Chromecast. So let's let's test this out. Oh, so as you see, well, I'm trying to tilt this right here. I don't know if you notice it or not, but there's a uh, a slight lag, and you I don't know you probably can't tell from this video right here, but the resolutions it's it's not that great on the TV. It looks pretty good once I guess it it buffers uh, to your TV. Um, is it playable? Probably, but it. Is it something that you'd actually want to use uh, to play games? At this point, no. I mean, if you're playing like highly uh, graphically intensive games, I, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't recommend using a Chromecast, uh, the cast screen to play games right at this point. Um, but if you're using, you know, something like, like the Post Newsreader or, uh, you're looking at uh, galleries. Um, I have some, you know, some personal stuff in there, so I, I'm not going to show the gallery here. But you could actually open up the gallery, and it, it'll show on the TV. So let me see. Let me see if I could find something that I can show. Uh, so yeah. So here's a picture. So this is just some pictures of a swamp. I just. I just took them so as you can see this is wonderful if you're trying to uh, you know display media uh, pictures uh, to people on the big screen this is perfect for that perfect and let me see if I could see how videos might turn out uh, once again you know there's no um, there's no sound so I I don't know how I don't know how uh, good this would be, but anyways, that's what we have there. And let me show you also another thing I like using it for is the actual browser. So if you were to open up your browser, you know, and go landscape, I think this is a great tool if you were surfing the internet as well, because it, like I said, the the lag's very minimal. Um, let me see if I could get a site that has, actually has pinch to zoom. Oh. Uh, let's go to let's go to see that. Let's try that. Hopefully, it's not the mobile site. I want to show you. Like when you're actually, as you can see, when you're actually scrolling, it, it it's pretty fast. Oh, uh, let me let me see if I could get a, a full the full sight so I could show you the pinch zoom. Well, I guess. Well, as as far as you could see, I I I don't I don't have a full site that I could look at so I could show you the pinch zoom. As far as you could see, I mean the the biggest worry that I had with this was the actual lag, and I'm very very impressed uh, by the performance of this, especially since this is a beta version. So that's it for my uh, review of the Chromecast mirroring beta. Um, I'm gonna put a link below to where you could download the APK, but this just makes the Chromecast an even more amazing value. I mean, for $35, with this mirroring, just for the mirroring alone, uh, I, I think it's 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 worth more than that. You know, I mean, uh, you know, like the the Apple AirPlay is $100, Roku is about 100 bucks, um, but for them to offer this, and it's not even not even fully baked in yet. Uh, we don't have the full version yet, but once that comes out, I I can't imagine what else that they could do with it so um, hats off to Google for releasing this 
um, and and just to make the Chromecast is a super duper viable device that does so many things. That's it for this episode. We'll see you on the next episode of Super Retro Geek. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments below and also subscribe.